Hey everybody, it's Such Man Time or Ballistic, and today I'm reading you the first episode of Map Time. Map Time is going to be a series where I basically go over every map in heightened detail and just talk about it really. Uh, obviously we're starting off with my favorite map from Black Ops 2. I wouldn't really know a reason why it's my favorite. It has a really nice flow and just feels nice. And yeah, you can see we're going over it. This is going to be the beginning of every map time. I'm going to basically do a little brief summary of it like that, how I like it and why and stuff. So yeah. Uh, first thing we're going to do is jump into first routes that usually are taking. As you can see from the get-go, people usually go through the middle or to the right. Rarely you will see someone go to the left. So a thing you, you're, you're going to want to do immediately, if you want more action, go to the middle. The middle is the highest point of action in the very beginning of the game. It usually starts uh, toning down a little and m moves over to the right of the map, as you can see on this, uh, this mini-map here. Now the next part of the series is basically going to be me going over every part of the map. And what I like to think of the main part is the monument here. Uh, we're basically going over it right now. You can just see the whole area, the whole area where you basically have several things for cover that no one really considers ever and hate it because this is such an underrated part of the map. Seeing from here you already have three cars that you can use for cover really easily. You have the inner area, which we are about to go into, which never is used for cover, and I mean ever. Like, you can use this rock, this rock coming up, all the rocks here, and you can even use these white, so I don't know what you'd call these, the blocks, as cover. And it's such a perfect thing to use. Seriously, no one ever considers to use these, I feel like. That car is such good cover for that window, and you can just pop over, take a guy out in that window. It's so easy, but no one does it. I feel like this area is very underrated. You need to use this if you want to win the game. If you don't come in here and maneuver around, if you're in this general area, you're going to fail, I believe. And, like, no, no one even uses this car, I feel like. I know it's not there when you have the B domination flag, but, like, ah, oh, it's still a great cover when you're playing, like, uh, Team Deathmatch or Kill Confirmed. It's, it's great. Even, and especially when you're playing Domination, you're going to want to be in this general area a lot. Because B, B Dom is right by where the yellow car is. And I can't believe no one uses it as much as they should. This area right here is what I would like to call a power position. It's a, basically a really powerful overlook for the area that I was previously talking about. And if you are in it and you need to control that area, you basically have control, I believe. It's one of two power positions for this area. And then you need one of two to do really well. And no one really uses this route, but to the right of it, I'm going down it right now. There's a, route, a way around when you don't have to go through the like the high, high like battle area. So just use that, guys. Use it. It's so useful. Now on the exact opposite side, we have the other window looking over. And there are multiple ways to get up there. You can see in the corner over there, there's a rock. Jump on that. You can get into the window. Uh, jump up just in general from that bench onto the gr thing and you can jump into the window It's also just a very useful vantage point of this area and no one uses it again Even though it's so useful. It's so great. You can get up here lay prone if you want and just snipe It's a great vantage point uh, people should use it more often Other points in this map in that area are this rock which I know is very like small and very pointless in general But if you think about it, this is also a very Power like no one notices you're gonna be in here if you have you have good cover with this rock just simply by this rock You have amazing cover. I feel like more people should use it I honestly jump there a lot when I'm in this area, and it really helps me out. You do get a lot of kills So yeah use that guys and Opposite to that you have this uh, I w don't know what you'd call it. It's the cement thing uh, It's really useful uh, It has more cover than the rock I'd say you just again if you're getting shot at go uh, crouch and you'll be good You can shoot right from there and you have such, you have good cover, man. This It's so useful. Use this, please, guys. Come on. Something I did just previously forget to mention about this area is you can jump up onto these white blocks and sprint jump, as you'll see in a second. It took me a while to record this, I guess. Sprint jump onto the monument, and that provides somewhat good cover. I mean, if you want to defend from multiple vantage points, you can go behind it and look that way. You can go behind it and look that way into the middle. It's very useful. Again, you can do it from this way and shoot over there into that window. It's very useful. I don't use it enough, I feel. I totally forget that it's even a thing most of the time. So use the monument, guys. It, it would help you a lot in domination, definitely. I feel like this area is key and you need to use the monument. 
And you can jump off of it again, like, into this area and be covered again. Now, moving out of that area, we go through these columns, which are a bitch and a half when you're getting shot at and you get stuck through. Moving into the main area of the map, the middle of the map, which has most of the conflict going on, we have this little rocky tree park thing and this whole, like, rectangle around it. Uh, most conflict happens in the outer rim of it, of course. A lot of people running through, a lot of people shooting like crazy. Uh, again, so underused is the middle of this of the area where it goes down into that little the tree part part I guess. You honestly just have to. I feel like it because it's not used enough. Obviously, you just have to run down there and you immediately have cover, and barely anyone will shoot you. I've multiple times killed people just because they didn't notice me in here. All oh, the rocks provide cover. Like even if you're if you're just crouching in here, I feel like no one will really notice you, and that's a good thing, of course. You don't really want to be noticed in this game. It helps you a lot. But running down the sides, I, I tip, quick tip, obviously. Be quick. You're going to want to be an SMG user. And if not, if you're not using SMG, I would definitely advise running through this area, maneuvering through, and jumping up and killing people, like, from these stairs. And just boom, swoop around, shoot a bunch of people in the kitchen. It's really, it shouldn't be that hard, honestly. And, of course, the other area in this, in the central area, is these stairs which we'll be going to shortly I mean <laughs> god damn I should have recorded this a little bit better but I mean you know how can you work theater mode perfectly uh, down these stairs you I hate coming up this way and as much as it is I know it has a, a lot of cover obviously but I mean like it's such a bitch and a half to like run up and then like oh well, actually there's a guy on top you got killed because that will happen to you m multiple times uh, it's a it's a good area, of course. You're gonna want to have control of it, and when you have control of this area, you will dominate the game. No doubt in my mind that that will happen. If you uh, if you have control over it, you'll win the game, hands down. Uh, the next area is this little alleyway, uh, and again, it's a camper central. It's camper central. A uh, guy can be camping in that corner. When you walk around, you're dead instantly. Guy can be camping in that corner. You'll probably see him when you're walking in through that way. Guy can be camping in that corner and kill you. I hate this part of the map. I hate coming through here. And, of course, over there is the last area we'll be covering, so I won't talk much about that. But it's a, it's a, it's a really, it's a spawn trappy area, because if you're running front into this area from this direction, there's going to be guys all over this alley blocking you from getting into the central point that they are controlling. And that is not cool. I hate that kind of thing. Now we're moving into the room that is basically connected to that alley. Uh, walking in here is kind of a half a death trap kind of thing. I hate this room too. I hate a lot of this section, this side of the map. Uh, of course, it's connected to the outer area that we were talking about, the first place we were talking about. And it's connected to the really good cover area. But this part of the, this air, this room is a death trap. It has at least like four ways to get into it. Yeah, the, that door, that door, and the staircase, and the door we just came through. All, like, every way I whenever I come in here I get insta killed it seems because there's always someone in here from coming from one way that way leads to the uh, the driveway and basically like this room is, this room's only use for me is sometimes getting to the overlook which we're going to right now over these stairs uh, it's 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 kind of a no purpose room I guess I don't know what, what else to say about it um, other than yeah it leads to this very purposeful room where you have a good look over this whole area. So really that's all I can say. It just leads back. Honestly, if you're in this room for a long amount of time, what the hell are you doing? Like seriously? Now across from that though, is a room that has a lot of purpose I feel like. This is the other area of the map that is like, if you control this, you're good I find. Uh, it has much cover. The main pillar in the middle, if you're behind that and then you pop out, you get a lot of kills I feel. Uh, if you're in the corner even and you're just camping, don't do that. I don't advise camping, but it is a strategy, I guess. And if you want to cover this, this whole area, that's a good idea in general. It also has this room that we're going into after we do this whole swivel behind this beautiful flower. There it is. And that plant that I don't really care about. <laughs> but this room is uh, safe with a window for some reason. It's really stupid. Don't really like that idea. But it does cover a, a, like a, not a very like traffic area, a very high traffic area, but there is a bit of traffic. The B, the B bomb is down there, uh, right down there by that building. It overlooks that area, and it's really useful. I would control it definitely for 
demolition, I mean. If I said domination, I'm sorry. But yeah, it's very it's a very good key room for that situation. And it also leads back into the, the area we will be going into next. This area is... I, it's really hard to explain. It's really wishy-washy. There's a lot of good uh, vantage points to other parts of the map. Uh, here we have good cover looking down this way. If you don't use this, you're a dumbass. Then we have this area where we walk. We basically, like, this is the area you spawn. Not really, but <laughs> you want cover here if you're controlling B, obviously. This is great cover. You can't... No one can get through that choke point at any point if, you, if you're there, I feel. Then you have this back area, which no one really uses. I would use it more than going down that way that we just passed. But if you use this properly, like, crouch and use this rock as cover... It's so useful. No one does it, though. It's stupid. Come on, guys. Use this route. God damn. It's, it's so perfect, too. Like, look at how this is laid out. It's like, yeah, you can use this as cover. Fucking prone behind that rock. And this is where you spawn. Prone behind that rock, and you'll be good. People will run by you, and you'll be like, okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm golden. I can use this direction. Uh, I wanted to show that this thing is also... Everything is not used as cover very well, I find. This thing is such good cover if you're trying to get up there, and people are, like, camping and shit. Uh, shoot right up there and you'll get people, but use this as cover. Don't walk up and get yourself killed. That was my dog sneezing. <laughs> and then we have down here, which is kind of another overlook to the bottom no traffic area, which, uh, I find is very, it's good cover, but I mean, like, you have that window over there opposite of you that really is a really good counter to this window, but it's such a piss off that it ends your life instantly, basically. I they have to put that kind of thing in there, I guess, to equal the maps out. But you know, it's kind of kind of wishy washy at times. You f feel kind of cheaped out. So yeah, next area. I'm sorry, guys. We forgot to mention this. I forgot to go in here. It's not really a big room, I guess. It's just that it's very important. Like it's a very good vantage point for the opposite side of the map that we shoot it right over there at that guy in the other window. Also, if you did not know this, you can jump up on these little this plant thing and get into that window. If you did not know that, it's a little tidbit of information. So, yeah. That's basically all this is. It's just another useful vantage point for having B or just in general taking over this area. Then we have this area, which is another, like... It's not really a high-traffic area, I guess. It has these three basketballs. You can shoot them into the hoop, actually. That's a bit of an Easter egg, but I would use that, honestly. That's really cool. It's really funny to use. Not cool to use, I guess, but uh, there's not a lot of traffic through here. Not much to talk about. There is that shack kind of thing in the middle of the, uh, not the middle of the corner. Uh, that's better than walking out into the middle through this door, I find. So use that to your advantage, guys. We're about to go in there. There's nothing special, really. It's just one door and a glass window that you just break right away. Uh, use this rather than going around. I'd say that's basically all this area is. Now we're moving on to the biggest area, I would say. Here you have, like, the two o overlooking windows for the area on this side of the map. Uh, there's it's, a, it's the biggest area of the map, I'd say. It's l least trafficked. Uh, just regular domination. Oh, wait, not domination. Demolition. Uh, it's very useful, though, of course, because the bomb is right there. Uh, this area in here, I don't know what you'd call this little bar thing. Bar is very useful for cover. One of the best covers on any map I find actually it's so great like you can just hide in here No one will know you're here unless they're planting and these fucking ninja diffuse Use it. It's very useful even a hot tub that you just saw very useful for cover on this part of the map Even going through this area the watery pool I find if you use it right no one will really notice you're walking through especially if you cling to the sides No one notices that there's also that little square you see that's very useful for cover in this area, along with the hot tub that we previously talked about, of course. But it's also, it's cover for the whole area, if you think about it. Like, you use it for the stairs this way, looking this way. If you use it for looking that way when you're attacking, you, each way, it's one of those useful things like the monument that you can use in either direction and it still works out. It's very useful. Uh, you can take a little a little hot tub bath if you want when you jump in. It's very nice. It's very clean But yeah, this whole area is like it's very underused I find if you use this route You're probably gonna get through easily. I wouldn't doubt it. There will be a sniper in that window though There's always one guy at least I find in one, one game. You're gonna find that 
Now we're just gonna go in depth with th this uh, specific building, I guess. Uh, no, no, I guess not a lot of people use it, but there's this route back here that you can just jump up on this. I don't know you'd call this the gardeny thing, and get around it without using that little inter interway. And it's really useful, of course. Not a lot of people use it again. Uh, more people use like the main routes in this game. I find myself using uh, like the secret routes more. And this is how you get up into this uh, building through these stairs. And if you like, of course, this whole area is like a death trap of, again. Like, if you walk up here and you know there's someone up here, you're probably gonna die because they will have shit set up so that you will you, that they'll know you're coming. I myself put up shock charges, things like that. Window has a great view of everything in this area. I mean, like, I think it's better than that one over there, honestly. The one that you see. You can see I think it's way better it's almost overpoweredly better than the one that's on the other side so yeah and also then there's this little I don't know you call it. it's not underground of course but it's just the under route which uh, has another good source of cover it has this I don't know you call it like a uh, this cement thing I guess we're just gonna call it uh, use that for cover not a lot of people will see you if you're perfectly on the corner like you you should be so yeah it's basically a really important area to hold. Now here we finally have the last area on the map, which is kind of a huge area if you think about it. But here we have a back route to the spawn point in the garage. Uh, use this; it's again really useful. You can even jump up on that little garber. I oh, know it's called. It's a fan and get shoot through that window. Really useful. Uh, back. This. I'm sorry for this being so slow. By the way, uh, it, it sucks the cameras in this game because sometimes you want them to speed up a little but you can't make it so sorry if you see a guy back there by the way that's nothing uh this is the main area not main area but this is the spawn point for uh whatchamacallit i forget what they'd be called but the one team spawns in this room and again if, if this room was more in the middle i think it'd be really cool because it is kind of like a, a dodgy room there's a lot of good cover there's the cars and shit there's the, that pillar in the middle which oh my god that saved my life so many times I can't even fathom, like, if that wasn't in the game, I'd probably be dead a lot more. These things right here, I don't know you call these, these indents in the walls, great cover. Use these, you can cover, like, the whole area, honestly. Like, if you wanted to cover down this way, you just hide in that corner that we just passed. Really useful. I cannot, like, say how many times it saved me. Uh, now, through here, we have the driveway. Which, uh, I told you earlier, leads into the other room that connects to the alley. And down this way, it, of course, leads to the main area. But in here, there's like another another route into the the garage. It's kind of an exercise room. This this guy, the guy, owner of this mansion, or whatever, this, uh, con I don't know what you call it. This this place has a lot of gyms, man. He's a lot of, he's a fitness guy. Uh, yeah, we go back in this area, and... Again, it leads out into the the main monument area. So it's really like an, a very... Like this driveway part, it's so important to not hold, but like make sure that no one's in it before using it because you will die. Uh, higher ground usually wins that fight. So yeah. And that basically wraps up episode one of Map Time, which was Raid, of course, that you're seeing the gameplay of. Uh, every episode is going to wrap up with a bit of gameplay and my general review on a, on the map. Uh, the flow of it and whatnot. I honestly love Raid. Raid is one of the better maps of this game. Uh, it's it's flow is kind of more... Uh, it's, an, it's a map that I love because it's an all-around map which can you can use any gun and do well. If you know your areas very well. Uh, the outer areas are, of course, sniper and LMG and assault rifles. This middle area is SMG and assault rifles. And the inner areas, specifically like the kitchen and the alley and the the room that I have not yet named because it's so unimportant to me. But those rooms are all SMG and shotgun. I would definitely not advise going in there if you do not have the proper weaponry. Uh, again, these pillars over there are also, like, watch out for those. You will get caught in those and die. It's happened to me multiple times, and I can't shoot people through them, obviously. It sucks. But if you hold control of this area right here, it's good. You're going to win the game. And hopefully my little tips have helped you out, like my little re review of the map's areas and little tips have, will help you out later. 
as you can see, I'm holding down the middle area because it's so useful. If you hold the middle area, you basically have won the game. Uh, again, though, like, those stairs over there, I might, I might show it. I might not get to that. People come up there, and it's really hard to shoot them sometimes because they have such good cover coming up the stairs. So I advise watching out for that. And as for, like, it's really hard to say what, what, because perks are very specific to a player. I, again, would advise just running my regular kill streaks, uh, which are Hunter Killer, Lightning Strike, and uh, Dragonfire. Dragonfire is useful in so many situations that no one ever uses it. I'm using not those kill streaks in this game. That, this game play was taken from a while ago. So, yeah, this is kind of outdated, but, yeah. Uh, basically, that's it, guys. I really just wanted to start off this series. Hopefully, it was good for you. Tell me, leave a comment. Tell me if you like the series. Tell me what map I should do next, because I don't really know. The like, Raid is honestly one of like the only maps I can say, like, I would, like it's definitely one that I like. Because I usually have really bad days on some maps. So, uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.